Let's take a look at how to make a spiral bound sketchbook without the need for fancy equipment like punching machines. Now to get started we're going to look at the equipment you need. Number one is paper. Now in this video I'm using Canson Mittens pastel paper but you can use any paper, regular drawing paper, watercolour paper, whatever you want really. I chose a range of four different colours. I'm also using some glassine paper between the pastel paper sheets so that when I write in it the pastel doesn't smudge and I don't need to spray it but I probably will spray it. The second thing you need is some card or board and this is for your front and back cover. For the front cover I went to my local art store and bought some Della Rowney A1 mount board just a student grade one they've got loads of different colours in this and I think it looks, it looks lovely I've used it for quite a few sketchbooks. Um, for the back cover I just used some plain board but usually I like to use the back of the pads of paper that you get because it's free. The next thing you're going to need is some aluminium wire. Now I bought two bottles of this, a 2mm and a 3mm and I, I actually think the 2mm is probably the one to go with. This is a craft wire which is really flexible and bendable so really easy to make into that spiral. And to actually make the spiral I just used a mop handle, this is a flash power mop, big up flash. The next thing you're going to need is your cutting tools and I have used a hole punch, I think it might be called a Japanese hole punch and it comes with different size heads that you can insert for different sizes size hole. The one I'm using here is the 4mm. You also need a pair of wire cutters. Um, these are ancient tools that I just dug out of my dad's toolbox. And the final thing you're going to need is some cardboard for your stencil. Step one is to fold and cut your paper into the right size sheets for your sketchbook. This process would be a lot easier if you had one of those guillotine machines but I don't have one of them so first I tried just folding the paper and ripping it with a piece of wood that didn't work and then I tried using a craft knife and that didn't really work either I was going to put a lot of pressure on my hand so I ended up just grabbing a kitchen knife and that worked really well so here you can see me cutting out all of the pages using that kitchen knife Here you see me moving onto the glassine paper which I just cut with a pair of scissors because I somehow forgot they existed. Again they're quite intensive on your hands so I would love to invest in one of those guillotine machines. The next step is to stack your paper. For mine I did a sheet of pastel paper then a sheet of glassine, a sheet of pastel paper and just repeated that through the whole sketchbook. In the second sketchbook I made in this video it is just cheap and cheerful newsprint paper. The third step is to cut your card to size as well for the front and back of your sketchbook. I just put a sheet of paper down and drew around it and then cut that from the grey board and the coloured card. The third step is to spiral that wire. I literally just got this, this mop and spiralled the coil around it. I used my thumb as sort of a bit of a, a measuring guide for two centimetres because I knew that was roughly how far apart I wanted my holes. For the second sketchbook I literally just used a broom which was a bit wider because I wanted the spiral to be a bit larger. Step four is to make a stencil to help you cut your holes out. For this I just used a bit of scrap cardboard from a delivery. I marked in a centimetre in and then all the way along marked two centimetre intervals and then cut that out with my little hole punch tool. Now I will say for the second sketchbook I actually reduced that to half a centimetre in because it was quite hard to lay the sketchbook flat. Whereas with the second sketchbook, it was much easier to lay it flat and to actually fold it all the way around. Step five is to start punching holes in your paper. Line everything up, put the stencil over and then clip it together. Don't forget this step because I did forget this step when I was making the pastel sketchbook. You have to push quite hard with the hole punch to get it through. 
and make sure you clear it out every two or three holes otherwise it can get really bunged up and fair warning you will end up with these little circles of paper absolutely everywhere i've been finding them on my shoes and feet and hair just just for days step six is to cut the holes for the cover and back of the sketchbook I found I had to push through the hole punch a couple times when going through the card. Uh, it was a little bit more effort, but it worked just as well as on the paper. And I will be honest, emptying the hole punch does get a little bit tedious, but I kind of found I got into a flow of doing it after a while. Couple holes empty, couple holes empty. And your final step is to bind it together. All you do is take your spiral of coil, starting from either side of the sketchbook, I started from the back cover to the front cover, and push it through the holes and just twist it round as you go. And start again on the next hole, and on and on and on. Just keep twisting it through and it, it's quite easy. It was harder on the pastel paper sketchbook because of the type of paper I picked and having glassine between it made it a little bit more awkward but on the second sketchbook I made with the larger loops and the thinner wire it was much easier because I clipped my sketchbook together and could easily just coil it straight through. So there we have it. That is how you make a spiral bound sketchbook without the need for hole punch machines. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.